The Encarn sarcophagus delivered to the Los Angeles Museum of Natural History this morning was stolen just hours before experts could examine its contents. Several security guards were killed during the robbery attempt, making this the bloodiest robbery in the museum's 70-year history. A police investigation is underway, murderer. They will find you. A shootout at a popular Chinatown underground club tonight left several dead and wounded after shots were exchanged between a local gang and you. The club, Glaze, was a known hangout for one of Chinatown's largest street gangs, but was also a popular hangout for local club kids. One witness stated that the exchange was all like, pow, pow, ah, take that, ooh, you got me, ooh, you wascally wabbit, take that, blam, aye. The story of the Encarn sarcophagus took an even more bizarre turn when Professor Anders Johansson went missing from his hotel room earlier today. Evidence of a struggle in the professor's room at the Empire Hotel indicate to investigators that Johansson was abducted. Johansson's family has received no demands yet, and there is speculation that his disappearance and the earlier theft of the Encarn sarcophagus are related. Police officials have gone on record as saying, don't worry, that crazy bastard will save him. Several dead in a beach house in Santa Monica tonight Police suspect the slayings were carried out during a drug deal gone bad. They suspect this may be the work of vampires and, hey, have you seen any vampires around here? A robbery gone bad at the Surfside Diner left several dead after the attempts by the would-be robbers were thwarted by a diner patron turned vigilante. Witnesses saw the vigilante run from the diner after they were alerted by the sound of gunfire inside. Police have stated that vigilantism will not be tolerated and that they know it was you. Several members of Congress are protesting the president's refusal to disclose details of meetings his staff had last year with the heads of several energy companies. They say measures agreed upon will increase air pollution and give large tax breaks to energy companies. An official statement issued by the president states that he can do whatever he wants. Who do you think put him there?